Our topic is about how food marketers have taken advantage of the kids in today's world. Kids are spending more time than ever watching TV, playing video games, and on social media. This has led to more food advertisement exposure and is one of the biggest contributors to childhood obesity. Here are some facts. Kids ages 8 to 18 spend on average 44.5 hours a week in front of computers, television, game screens, and any other activity other than sleeping. In very young children, research has found that for every one hour increase in TV viewing per day, there are higher intakes of sugar-sweetened beverages, fast food, red and processed meat, and overall calories. Excess weight can be gained by the addition of only 150 calories a day. In the 1970s, 5% of U.S. children ages 2 to 19 were obese. According to the CDC's current definition, by 2008, nearly 17% of children were obese, a percentage that held steady through 2010. These ads are almost completely dominated by unhealthy food products, 34% for candy and snacks, 28% for cereal, 10% for fast food, 4% for dairy products, 1% for fruit juices, and 0% for fruits or vegetables. Other research has found that children who watch more than three hours of television a day are 50% more likely to be obese than children who watch fewer than two hours. Food ads on television make up 50% of all ad times on children's shows. So growing up, how did you find out about what you would consider unhealthy, like cereals or snacks or something? Well, growing up, we didn't think that the cereal and snacks that we ate were unhealthy because, um, according to the commercials, they were magically delicious. So it was as an adult that you realize that you're putting all the sugars in your body and all the unneeded salt and unhealthy other things that you eat from the cereals and things. And all I wanted was to try the new fruitier tasting Trix. I snuck into the factory, I tried to be careful, but I made it even fruitier. Whoa! It's the fruitiest tasting Trix ever, with a greater, grapier taste. A bigger blast of berry. It's the biggest, fruitiest tasting Trix ever, and a colorful part of a good breakfast. I just wanted one bite. Sorry, Robin. New Trix. It's the fruitiest tasting Trix ever, but it's still just for kids. at the world's kookiest coaster. Whoa, nothing's cookier than that! Oh yeah? I bet you go cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs with just one bite! You're wrong! We're cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs! When you pack your puffs with a great taste of Hershey, you get a chocolatey taste kids can't help but go cuckoo for. That's the one and only Cocoa Puffs, a chocolatey part of a good breakfast. <laughs> one bite! I think the uh, commercials for cereals, sugary cereals for kids, is has both positive and negative impacts. I think they use cartoons, which are really appealing to kids, and they make it seem like it's so delicious and good for you. Like in the Trix Rabbit one, they talked about grape and lemon, and, and then in the Cocoa Puffs, they talked about having vitamins. So it's misleading because you think it's good for you, but the reality is when you look at the ingredients, Sugary, cereal, sugary cereals aren't really good for you. So um, I think it makes kids want to have them because they're cartoons and they're fun and they make them feel like they're good for them. So, so I think the kids um, would love those ads and I think it would make them want to eat the cereal. You know, I was, as an adult, I was laughing at those. I want to go out and, you know, and buy some cereal and have it now. So I think it's, it's very enticing for the kids when they see the cartoon characters to want to go out and, and have that cereal. Don't you think art is as much fun as stomping? You can.
can have fun painting with Mario and Toucan Sam 2 with squeezable paints from Kellogg's Fruit Loops. One free brush with up to three fruits. This leaves us with one issue. Is the responsibility on society or is it on the companies and the corporations to fix this issue of advertising? Overall, I think it's up to the parents to decide what their kids eat. If the parents decide to let their kids watch TV and they see advertisements with cartoons, the kids are going to be naturally attracted to eat that kind of cereal. So overall, it's up to the parents to decide what their kids eat. Uh, I believe it's the company's fault because they are acting unethically by not uh, marketing the bad things that are also included in their cereals or whatever they're marketing to sell. And it's, um, it's like they're just trying to make money instead of helping the general public.